Hello, welcome to MoFa News, your most reliable source of Korean public diplomacy news. I'm Oh Ju Hye from MoFa. Minister of Foreign Affairs Chong Eun-yong visited Vietnam, Singapore, and Indonesia, three of Korea's key partners in implementing its new southern policy from June 21st to 25th. Foreign Minister Zhang's trip was the first face-to-face -face diplomatic event with ASEAN countries since its inauguration and demonstrated Korea's strong will to expand cooperation with the region even amidst the COVID-19 situation. Foreign Minister Zhang had in-depth discussions on ways to reinforce cooperation between Korea and the three Southeast Asian countries in such areas as health and disease control, economy recovery, and regional issues. Foreign Minister Zhang and the three countries agreed on the importance of further strengthening international cooperation in response to COVID-19 and decided to seek cooperative measures for equitable access among others. They also agreed to elevate their cooperation for economic recovery in the post-COVID-19 era, and Foreign Minister Zhang requested their attention and support for Korean businesses in their countries. Foreign Minister Zhang also appreciated their continued support for the Korean government's effort to achieve complete denuclearization and establish permanent peace on the Korean Peninsula, and they agreed to maintain cooperation for progress on this issue. Foreign Minister Zhang and the three countries expressed deep concern over the humanitarian crisis caused by the latest developments in Myanmar and shared the view that the five-point consensus reached at the ASEAN leaders' meeting on April 24 should be implemented in a prompt manner. They agreed to work together in ensuring that ASEAN continues to play a central role in peacefully addressing the current situation in Myanmar. In Vietnam, the first stop of his trip to Southeast Asia, Foreign Minister Zhang attended the high-level policy dialogue on June 22 in commemoration of the 25th anniversary of ASEM. In his congratulatory remarks, Foreign Minister Zhang appreciated the fact that ASEM has strengthened regional connectivity as well as cooperation between Asia and Europe since its establishment in 1996. On June 23rd, Foreign Minister Chong had a meeting with Foreign Minister Bui Tain Son and paid courtesy calls on President Ng Nguyen Son Puk and Prime Minister Pan Min Jin. The two countries agreed to elevate the current strategic cooperative partnership to a higher level on the occasion of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations in 2022. In addition, they discuss ways to resolve difficulties faced by Korean businesses in Vietnam and other bilateral issues as well as major regional and global issues. On June 24, Foreign Minister Zhang visited Singapore, Korea's top investment destination as well as biggest infrastructure partner among ASEAN countries. He met Foreign Minister Vivian Balakrishnan and paid a courtesy call on Prime Minister Lee Sen Lung. They appreciated the active participation of Korean companies in Singapore's flagship infrastructure project amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and agreed to further enhance cooperation in future industries such as fintech and startups. In addition, considering the progress in vaccinations in both countries, they agreed to continue discussing ways to expand people-to-people -people exchanges, such as creation of a travel bubble, mutual recognition of vaccination certificates, and the early resumption of the fast rain between the two countries. In Indonesia, the final star of trip to Southeast Asia Foreign Minister Zhang met a Foreign Minister Ratno Marsudi and paid a courtesy call on President Joko Widodo on June 25th. Foreign Minister Zhang noted that since the establishment of the Special Strategy Partnership on the occasion of Korean President Moon Jae-in's visit to Indonesia in 2017, the two countries have maintained their relations at the highest level based on deep trust and friendship between the leaders of the two countries. The two sides agreed to strengthen cooperation to establish an institutional foundation at the bilateral and regional level for economic recovery from COVID-19, with an early entry into force of the Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement and the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership. 
The two sides took note of the achievement from their cooperation in the defense industry which symbolizes strategic trust, and they agreed to maintain close cooperation to ensure a smooth implementation of mutually beneficial projects such as KF-21 IFX Fighter Joint Development Project. Foreign Minister Zhang also visited the ASEAN Secretariat located in Jakarta and had a meeting with the Secretary General of ASEAN Lim Jok Hoi. The two sides expressed their satisfaction with the progress made in various areas of the Korea ASEAN cooperation under the new sovereign policy and agreed to enhance cooperation to achieve fruitful results in various projects, such as the establishment of the Financial Cooperation Center and the launch of the ROK ASEAN Health Ministers Meeting. In addition, both sides agreed to take the ROK ASEAN Summit this October as an opportunity to take stock of the progress made in cooperation between Korea and ASEAN under the new sovereign policy and to reaffirm their leaders' commitment to further enhance cooperation. Foreign Minister Zhang's visit served as an opportunity to seek ways for mutually beneficial cooperation to overcome the COVID-19 crisis together with the key partners in implementing its new Southern policy. Based on the result of the visit, Korea will continue to build on the people-centered community of peace and prosperity, financing long-term and sustainable partnership with the new Southern policy partners. And this is Mofa News. Thank you.